Matt's just going in. That's all Matt's doing. He's just going in. Okay, 453,000. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? He was bleeding, begging you for mercy, but you stabbed him again and again and again. Hello everyone and welcome back to Epic Battle Fantasy V. So, I'm here again, I'm here at the Pumpkin People again. Um, I do these episodes in like batches, right? So I haven't actually read, if anyone's given me any advice on how to defeat the pumpkins, I haven't actually read it yet. This is, this is me in the past still. Um, so, going in with absolutely no strategies besides the ones that I've devised on my own, which, to be fair, they pr they're probably terrible, and they're pro it's probably a much easier way to do it. Um, but we're gonna go in with my strategies that I have right now, which is essentially, we're gonna hope Anna's insta-kill kills two of three of them. <laughs> from there, I don't know, I haven't actually- I haven't actually considered where we go from there, but if she can get two of three of them, that's pretty good. Um, so we're gonna just- I mean, we're just gonna do our best, really. Um, so let's see here. So, he, the reason why I have Natalie here is because I want Natalie to do this. Actually, I should use no legs for his auto-revive now that I, I really think about it. Um, and then he is gonna give her the vision, her the sight, actually, and then she is gonna defend. What am I saying? Yeah, she might as well do this, because she might as well m get, make it so the insta-kill does more damage, right? If the first hit is the only hit that actually matters, she might as well have it really smack. Okay, and then we're gonna swap you out to no way, because who is gonna give insta- it, not insta- auto-revive? And we're gonna hope- we're gonna hope to- to every- every single deity out there uh, that this actually works. So here we go. She has super, she has super sight. She already has a really good accuracy to begin with. This needs to kill two of three guys. It has a 50% chance of working, because this is a 150 and they have a 100%, right? So, 50% chance. Or actually, is it less than that? It might be- no, it should be 50, unless they, like, scale it off of 200%. It might be a 1 in 4. If it's a 1 in 4, that's- that's even worse for us, but... This should work. There's a good chance this works, maybe, hopefully. It kills at least one, I bet. Do the thing! Instant kill! Wow, it killed none of them! That's not great. Alright, um... I mean, this is not gonna deal any damage because they're already... ...angry, but I'm gonna do this anyways in hopes that maybe it does something. Actually, how many hits does this do? That's a good thing. Because if, if it only works on the first hit, if this does one hit, it's perfect. It's one hit. Okay, it's- it's one hit. Oh, that's- okay, that's good, actually. That's good for the future. Yeah, and now everyone's gonna be just dead, actually. Like, <laughs> everyone is just dead forever. There's just- there's- there's just no surviving that, yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, you know what? That's- that's a- that's a good lesson for us. I'm gonna run. <laughs> I was really hoping that insta-kill would work, but it didn't. But I've learned something. We could use Lance, because I, I I thought his nuke was only a hits once, but I wasn't sure. Now I know it does. So maybe I open with the nuke. That's not a bad strategy, actually. I don't, I think that's actually a pretty decent idea. Okay, let's open with the nuke. Yeah, yeah. Let's open. Let's just open with a nuke. All right, cool. So we're just gonna. It's gonna be the exact same thing. We're gonna be doing this. We just just a prep period. It's just a prep period. He was gonna lose 5% attack up, right? I mean, that's not gonna be a huge deal. 5% shouldn't matter at all. So don't worry about it. And we're gonna do that, and we're gonna see what Lance can do with just his nuke. Because it's one hit, which means it's, it's gonna do more damage than before. These guys don't have a terribly large health pool. So maybe, maybe it works. He also has good luck on him. So you know what? There's a solid chance, actually. That we're gonna get some serious damage here. There's a solid chance of it. And then actually, then Anna can clean up with her insta-kill. I like that. I like that idea. Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Wait, is that the right one? Is that the right that's not the right one? See, I almost I almost messed it up immediately there. Okay. Let's open with the nuke. Right? And here we go. We launch it. 
I hope it does a good amount of damage, like a very good amount. Okay, and... That did considerably less than I was hoping it would do. Considerably less. But that's okay. That's okay. We're gonna then follow it up with Annihilate, which might kill one of them. It just missed on <laughs> one! She had accuracy and everything! Oh my god! Okay. I see a way of doing this. But it's gonna cost me a lot of money. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know if I want to do it. Okay, 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 okay. I have- I have the strategy. So, I- the- I think the idea is there. The core idea is right. But we need to do some adjustments. So remember how I was talking about a lot of these weapons that have things like, Oh, boost damage of whatever skills are very situational? They are. Uh, but now we've come across a situation where they're actually going to be useful. In this particular case, we need this fire ability to come out the gate like whapping. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to upgrade this to max. We lose we lose Spicy Boy, but to be fair, he's pretty useless anyways. Replaces current weather. Oh, whoa, dude. Crazy. Yeah, so throw him out. We don't need him, right? So we're doing that. And we're going to equip this on a lance. This is, this is going to be like his fire build, per se, right? So we have that, and we have to now go through this as well. I wish I knew how much this buffed fire skills, because that's like the only thing I think that buffs fire skills, but like, it doesn't give a lot of... damage? I... Maybe the wiki can tell me? Like, I don't look up a lot of things, but this is like a very specific thing I wouldn't actually be able to know otherwise. Like, when it says boost the damage of... Does it not even say on the wiki? It says boost the damage of fire skills. How much does it boost the damage? Am I crazy? Okay, well, I'm just- okay, I'm just gonna assume, right, I'm just gonna assume that it's, let's say 10%, right? Let's just say 10% off the top of our head. Or like, or like the equivalent of like plus 10, right? So that would be like a 15, because I can't really know how much it does. I mean, I could test it, but I'm lazy. If it's, that's 30. I don't think we get any higher than 30. I don't think there's, there's any armor that physically gives us more than 30. And I, can I upgrade this? I can. Oh, pff, dude, chump change. 45. Easy. Easy money. Okay. Okay. So, looking at Lance now... <laughs> First of all, he looks a little bit like a goober. Can I just say, this man is- this, this is maybe not Lance's best time in his life. But, he's gonna be dealing damage, dude. So, let's see how good this- actually, wait, we can go even further beyond. We can go even further beyond, I think. Do none of these- actually, Trinkets don't really give attack, do they? No, not really. Not particularly. Maybe we can't go further beyond. This should be- well, let's test. I'm gonna actually save this. This is gonna be, um... This is like a gen generic mage build, and I can switch that around. Uh, trinkets aside. Let's see how much damage he can do in one nuke, wearing wizard armor. Oh god, look at him! Oh, I'm so sorry to do you like this, Lance. I need to, though. I need to. Um, hilariously, it's better for him to defend it gives him a little bit more. Mm, okay, we'll just- we'll do that then. Uh, actually, if, if if he has to defend, let's just give it to No Legs. Because I need somebody to buff, uh, what's- Anna's, uh, of accuracy. And actually, it's better that No Legs does it, because he- he buffs harder anyways. So we're gonna take that off, give that to- I know there's a lot of prep work, I'm sorry, it's just- this is one of those fights. That everything needs to go perfectly, or it won't work. Okay, so you are going to open by buffing her. You are going to just defend. That's 80% magic attack, which is- whoo, That's fire, dude. That is fire. Okay, now look at this. They've got some serious buffs right now. So, I don't remember how much he did before on his thing. Uh, I think the lowest he brought somebody was like- 70 or 80 thousand health? I don't recall already. Uh, let's see how much this thing smacks now. He should be coming out here. This thing- That's the wrong move. I did the- This is why you can't trust me. I just- I clicked the first thing that I see. I- I- Damn it! Okay, for real this time. Good at nine lives. Probably shouldn't even bother doing that, but I mean, uh, we'll see. I should I should wait until after I see the effects of this. But anyways, it doesn't matter. Let's just go. Let's just go right now. We're hitting him super hard. 
as hard as we physically can. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you deal damage. Oh god, wait, what? Wait, I still have a turn. Oh god, was that a counterattack? Can he counterattack? Okay, I need to kill two? Or just capture one. Actually, I guess I could just capture- if I capture one, they're gonna kill us all. Um, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's good. They have one HP. What are they- what- there's no way this can miss, right? Like, they have one HP. He has buffs, yeah? Come on. Come on. Come on! Okay! Okay! Alright! There he is! There's that little devil. Oh my god! Normally it does nothing, but calling it two or more times in a turn will make it angry. It will then do massive physical damage to foes. So if I use it three times or more, or like two t I keep in mono, there's no way. If I use it three times, it hits for nine, nine, nine. Are you serious? I'm gonna call him good night, because this is what's gonna happen if this guy hits you. Okay, we have to survive two. Okay, oh, no, 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 it's good. We have the auto revives, or one auto revive, I guess. No, we're ro oh my god, I win. I win, I actually win. Get, get annihilated, boys. Boys, we've done it. I am a genius. I'm actually a genius at this game. I'm so, I, I hate to, hate to toot my horn too much, but I, I am, I am perfect. I'm infallible. Look at this, we win. Bam, goodbye. Say sayonara, boys. You killed them all. You're a monster. That Lance smacked for 160,000. Oh my god. If you build against enemies, this is this is busted, dude. Why don't I do this more? Oh, that's right, because it's extra effort and I'm lazy. That's, that's what it is. I didn't expect a pumpkin to put up such a fight. We could have died back there. Killed by vegetables. Wouldn't want that on my tombstone. All right, we've done it. We're good. See, and we get some stuff. Gives the player brave. Cool, I guess. I mean, kind of. I wonder. I wonder what else it gives. I would want to see. Max SP by three. Okay. Also, twelve. This is one of those things where I can see in very specific scenarios. It would be pretty nuts. The thing is, if you're dedicating all your turns to just summoning one thing, you're already losing a lot of damage, though. It'd be fun to try. It's a good meme, I'll give it that. But even doing 999, remember, you're, you're, you're dedicating three turns to calling this thing. So, what would do more? This thing doing 999 or three full player's turns, if you're including the fact that they probably have limits on them or something? I don't know. I think there's a certain certain scenarios where this would actually be better than player's turns, like if I'm running out of things. So sure, I'll, I'll throw them on. I don't know what to get rid of. Maybe you. Because you're just damage. I'm trying to avoid things that just give damage. I mean, granted, this is just damage, but this is this damage is going to be better than this damage. It, it costs 36 to effectively deal more. So you know what? I'm thinking we could maybe take him off because everyone else, everything else does something, right? So let's take him off, and we're gonna throw him, we're gonna throw the pumpkin on, and look how terror. Have you ever seen a more terrifying face in all your life? That is that is what nightmares are made of. That is what looks like when death is approaching you. And we finally have something that's actually lower than the putrid worm. I never thought I'd see the day. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'm gonna switch Lance back to his normal gear. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring him back to his normal gear because he's still my monster capture boy. Uh, but that is a very good equipment set for when I need Lance to come out the gate smacking. I need, like, I, when I need this man to do damage, he can do some damage with that gear. It's really good. Okay, and we're gonna just throw everything back on whoever they were on. We'll put you here, and we put you here. Okay! Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this now. I'm feeling like we're doing some good work out here. I really wanna get to that town too. I have 776 thousand money if like if for whatever reason the gear cost more than all of my money i'm gonna be like shocked but if it doesn't which it probably won't i'm gonna be buying steroids oh there's gonna be so many steroids okay so now for this guy he freezes a lot so we're gonna go 
specific equipment statuses. Actually, we should maybe look at him first. Let's take a look. This might be a little bit cheese, but let's take a look at him. I want to see what we're dealing with here. And we can spec against him. Oh, God. Why have mortals entered the realm of Poseidon, the sea god? Yeah, this is what a sea god looks like. Only one reason is possible. To cause genocide against my children. Oh, that's quite an opening, Mr. Poseidon. Let's take a little look at you, buddy boy. So, Poseidon. God of the seas. He is a rockhead, of course, though. He uses powerful water, ice, and holy magic, as well as summoning many little helper ores. So, he does not like ice, and he does not like bomb. Okay. With this knowledge, I'm now going to run away, and we're gonna build against him. Because I have a bad feeling about him. Also, that was a lot of health. I don't know if you saw how much health that was. That was quite a bit of health. And I have everyone's equip saved anyways. So you know what? We can actually use this handy dandy feature of literally just swapping equips. I know I never utilized so many things in this game, but now is the time. So Ice and Bomb. Let's think about this. I think I like this one more because he's going to be attacking with... Like, I have a choice between this and this. I like, this is a much more offensive sword, the fusion blade, because it attacks with Bullet Bob sometimes, which I don't need to remind you how much damage Bullet Bob does. And, the, and to be fair, this is going to be like, I might switch the mask on Matt, but Matt is really, I'm not going to be switching too many equipment around because I can't switch the armor physically. I can only switch the mask, maybe, but not the actual armor. Genji armor is too good. So, this is my offensive option, and this is my more defensive option, but it does give me that freeze resist. I guess I actually have to see what I can swap out here. You know what? With that and the sword, actually, he'll be good. See, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna swap to the Ice Needle. I think I can upgrade it all the way. I hope I can. Nope. Ten sap- Ten sapphires? Ten sapphire. I need ten- I should have been at the equipment store. I- Mm, I'm gonna go back to the material store. Okay, that's fine. No, it's good. We're great. We're great. There's a teleporter like over this way. I should have just been camped out at the material store like to go against this. I don't. I don't know why I didn't just immediately go back. Ten sapphires. Whoa, that is really gonna break me, dude. <laughs> just kidding. Eighty-eight thousand doesn't matter at all. Okay, so this is gonna be upgraded to max. It's gonna give us water resistance. It's gonna give us ice resistance. That's excellent. Super excellent to throw on Matt. So with this, he's gonna have. 100% freeze resistance, and 100% elemental resistance to ice, and 8% to water, so that's pretty solid. We're missing holy resistance, because he does hit with holy sometimes. Although I don't think that's going to necessarily be required. Like, I think Matt's loadout is going to be good like this. I could switch the mask, or the helmet, I should say. The only feasible one would be the space helmet, because it does decrease wet resistance, but he loses- I would lose so- 185 attack, dude. I can't- I would- I would cry if I- if I lost that much. I can upgrade these to max. Sick! I mean, it's not a huge deal, but I'll do it. Uh, this is a good- it's a good item. Uh, so, Natalie, we need you to do some stuff. What did he not like again? It was ice- it was ice and bomb. Okay, so he doesn't like ice and bomb, so we're looking for, like, something like this. Ice or bomb, essentially. Actually, wait, she doesn't even have bomb skills, does she? No, we're just doing ice, then. What am I saying? Okay, this is easy. Boom, boom. I need sapphires. Of course I do. Give me your sa- I need six more sapphires! <laughs> da 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 Boop. Look how easy that is. Oh, I can actually upgrade these. That's right, I have leco bricks. I forgot. Although, I'm not- probably going to. She's gonna switch the gear anyways, soon. To be fair, uh, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but Anna, Natalie is more important than you, so she's gonna get the ice shards. <laughs> Cause she- I, I can't have my Natalie get frozen. Not- no way. And no way, no how. That gives ice. Her water is a little bit lagging. Holy is also really good, actually. Is that because of this dress? This dress gives actually holy resistance. That's not bad. Um, but we're looking for ice and water, and also boost the damage of ice, that's right. I mean, that gives everything! That literally gives everything, dude! What? Okay. <laughs> Great! That's perfect! Oh my god! Yes! Please! Yes! Upgrade! Proves chances of catching foes, that doesn't really matter. Oh, I, and I, I just realized I can upgrade Lance's gun all the way. That- these are some insane stats, dude. These are some insane stats. Look at this, this is a ridiculous gun! Uh, but for right now we need to specialize. Because we need help. Boost the damage of ice skills. 
Actually, Lance doesn't even have ice skills, does he? No, he doesn't. I just need resistances then. To be fair, this does give resistances. I don't want to switch the gun. I love, I love this gun too much. We'll just go with armor for, for Lance's resistances. Does none of these give ice? Oh my god, this gives freeze. This is the only one, this is like the only one that gives freeze. But it does improve chance of catching. So you know, that's fine. Oh, that's my last Leco Brick. I mean, I'll take it. It's fine. This is worth it. This is a special occasion. So there you go. You got a, you got a dog on your head, Lance. And this is the other thing. Great! So he actually has complete resistance to freeze. That's excellent. This might be like my go-to team right here. Um, I I hate to be the one to tell you this, Anna. I like I already said you don't matter, and you're just gonna get frozen if you go out there. So I'm actually not even gonna equip Anna because I don't I don't I just don't have the gear for her because I gave it to Natalie. Um, and then you, I actually can't really swap you either. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with. Matt and Natalie and Lance, I think, for this fight. This is this is gonna be kinda weird for me. I might swap out every once in a while, but this is this is a weird one, man. This is a weird one. And you know what? This is fine, because we're also we're we're building friendship like this anyway. So you know what? It still counts. It's I'm still I'm still doing my goal. You know, I'm just I'm still doing it. Hello, friend. I've come to fight you again. Well, not again, but I've come to fight you for real, I should say. I hope this is made from fake fur, but the number of animals being slaughtered around here, that's unlikely. Okay. So with the group I have right now, we should be balling out here, dude. We do that, we give Matt his sight. And Natalie... I don't even know what Natalie should do. I guess just buff herself, right? Cause she's gonna be dealing damage. And she counterattacks with ice! Oh god! Alright, that, that still did quite a bit of damage to my boy. To be fair, he's not as geared as the other two. There we go. That's that's actually pretty solid. This is a solid turn. How much health do you have? That's a lot of numbers. 1,307,000. Oh, okay. Now that's normal. Why is there radiation? Wait, what? Wait, hold on a second. Okay, so it's ice and bomb. I guess I should have equipped Lance with Bomb, that makes more sense, but it wouldn't have given him the resistances. Whatever, it's fine. Let's think about this now. Actually, there's nothing to think about really, is there? Matt's just going in. That's all Matt's doing. He's just going in. Okay, oh, okay. 453,000? This is Poseidon the Sea God? Not quite the handsome man I had pictured. That, oh, that, oh, I'm not gonna lie to you, that did a little bit more than I thought it would- Oh my god, I didn't even stagger him. Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so dumb. I have the big dumb. And her magic attack went away. Why? What? Oh my god, and I didn't give her Encore. Oh my god, it's- Oh, no! It's on- It's on Anna, isn't it? Oh, I, I made a mistake. I already- I made a boo-boo, but it's okay. I'm, I'm just gonna roll with this. It's gonna be a bit- it's gonna be a bit more difficult like this, but I'll roll with this. Let me think. I might as well just do this. I might as well just at least stagger for Natalie. It'll do a bit more damage. I was expecting to beat a buff guy with a huge beard. This isn't a god, this is just a huge golem. Oh look, he's crying! <laughs> Who says mean things about me? Uh, and then we're just gonna hit you with ice, which I think does still quite a bit. 63, yeah. I might have played some part in this. Maybe I shouldn't have used so much dynamite when going fishing. <laughs> Mortals have hunted the fish of the sea to extinction. They have polluted the rivers and caused many lakes to freeze. Such acts are unforgivable. Oh. Oh! Oh, that's right! Sometimes we just get extra turns because this is attached to somebody's armor. That's kind of an insane move, isn't it? That, that seems ridiculous to me. Alright, we're gonna get you up. And, it, to be fair here, I think we can just go with- oh, Man, that doesn't do a lot of damage, though. It will clear out these guys. I can't use fire. He's, he's not weak against fire. Let's just do this. Oh, I should- actually, I, I already made it- I should have Kyung first. It's okay, I'm doing everything wrong. I'm realizing it as I do it, okay? Listen, I know, I know, it's- it's wrong. It's okay. We're gonna be fine, probably. Oh, he's staggered. Oh, is he? Is he staggered? That's interesting. That's very interesting, actually. We need to defeat him here and now to save Red Pine Town. He's too dangerous to leave alive. Yep. And we're gonna do this one more time. Oh, he's angry now. He's real angry. Oh, 
god. I'm just... I'm, I'm just massacring him. Oh my god. He's almost dead. Oh, hey, a new outfit for this. That's right. Holy crap. This man is getting annihilated. The blood of the sea is on your hands, mortals. I will avenge every defenseless life form you have harmed. Hear my words now and tremble before my might. Okay. Or is this... Is this... Okay, wow, that was an attack. A counter attack, you <laughs> Dead, my dude. You're just gone. I have to do this to so Natalie can actually take her turn without dying. This man's just dead, right? Like, he's just dead at this point. I don't even think I can have Matt attack him, because I think Matt kills in one hit. So, I need to, like, figure out how to do this. Okay, so oh, I can hit him with evade. The evade thing, right? Let me think about this. So I have to give Lance good luck. Lance is still our capture guy, right? So I have to give him good luck. That's that's a, a given. I'm scared. I'm very scared to use Matt at all. I can do his normal AoEs, I think. Or at least one normal AoE. The Ice Blade, I think, might just kill this man. Okay, we're gonna do that. I think that's gonna kill. I really do. We're just gonna go with this and go with this. Okay, so he's lost most of his health. We're gonna go to you. You're gonna just weaken him a bit more. So he has all of these debuffs on him. Let's see if we can capture with this. I'm doubtful, but maybe. Oh, that was just instant! That was just like that! Wow! That was the easiest fight of my life. I should spec against enemies more. This makes my life so easy. I'm gonna call him not Poseidon, because that's actually what he truly is. This is not Poseidon, this is a rock. This is a giant rock face. Uh, he's mine now, though. Wow. Wow! Is that how easy fights could be? If I'm not the big dumb dude? What? Oh boy, we're really stacking up some bad karma. The Earth won't appreciate us beating up nature gods like that. <sighs> Nonsense. The Earth exists only to have its resources exploited by humankind. It says so right in the holy book of Ka Cadus? Cadus? Cadus. It's probably Cadus. That's the only part I've read, though. Anyway, I'm sure the people of Red Pine Town will be glad to hear that we've subdued Poseidon. They probably... They've probably not heard much news from the outside world lately. We're actually getting really close to our goal now. The state of the Great Impact should just be should be just beyond this town. That is, if the town's still standing. <sighs> Knocked out, but still twitching. <laughs> wow. I I'm serious. I did not expect to come out smacking that hard, dude. That is. That was nuts. Okay, we're just gonna put everyone's equips back on at this point because we don't need to go specialized anymore. But, oh my god, dude. Oh, that's right. I didn't change you at all. I don't think I changed no legs either. I didn't. Okay, that that was disgustingly good. Oh, what do you got? What gifts do you have for me, Poseidon? A coral key. I like a coral key. Boost damage of bio skills. Hey, sure. I mean, I don't mind that. And some some stuff right there. And another game child and a hat. That's a hat, of course. It's a blue elephant. Now has been on a lot of adventures. All right. Wow, so are we there? Are we just at Red Pine now? Yeah. I think we can expect a hero's welcome when we get to the town. We could treat ourselves to some excellent grub. I don't see any people around, though. Also, this doesn't sound like you've gotten to a town music. This sounds like you're about to be in a battle music. I think it's the water orb for something. It went somewhere, didn't it? Also, wait a second. I can still go down. What is down? Hey, I think we're sealing off the world map now. There's no telling what we might find in this direction. I already assume that the world is simply wrapped around the edges. I didn't expect to see any uncharted land beyond the map. Oh, boy. What is this? North, Red Pine Town, South. Battle Arena. Battle Arena. I hear bat Battle Arena. I heard Arena. I heard Arena, and I'm excited. And Data Bunker. Sailors, be warned. Strong sea currents will push you back towards the shore if you sail the wrong way. Turn off tips in the options if you want to find your, your own way. I don't really, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that necessarily means. I'm gonna get, grab this though. 
Do I have to map this out? Is this another I have to map it out situation? I really hope not. Oh god, I don't... Uh, I'm getting flashbacks by maps. No, this is the exact same spot. Okay. Is it just trial and error? Oh. So there's like that, and if I go the wrong way, it just keeps me here. Okay, so I just have to literally follow the arrows. I'm gonna try every wrong direction though, because I know there's secrets here! I know you too well, Matt. There's gonna be secrets. I'm gonna make sure that I'm not missing missing anything at all. Okay, that's just that. I refuse to miss a single secret if it's in my power. That takes us to that side. What the hell? Okay. This is, this is interesting. This is how this works. I, I heard Battle Arena. The Battle or I like me Battle Arenas. Mm -mm -mm, battle Arena. So I'm assuming go, going back up will just take us to that. Yep, and then I'm gonna go down. I'm literally just gonna go in all the wrong directions doing this. I need to make sure. I need to make sure I'm missing not a single thing. Nothing can be missed. How are you holding up, No Lakes? The sea gang to you? <laughs> not good, huh? We'll try to land somewhere soon. <laughs> So I'm assuming I just follow the current here, but you know what? That'd be too easy. That'd be too easy! Can't trick me! I'm starting to truly believe there probably aren't any secrets. It seems like there might not be secrets here. And this is a- this is a lot to have to backtrack through, but you know what? What if there is a secret, though? I have to ask myself the what if- Oh! You see? You see? Look at this! Huh? Uh, there's nothing here. I concur. Rest and be thankful. Suspicious. There's something here. There's gotta be. I just- did, did I just see a question mark? I thought I- No, it was just that. I'm suspicious. What if I go up from here? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there's something here. There's gotta be. There's got- there's no way there's- I'm gonna spend entirely too much time checking every single corner of this place. Down is nothing. I went up, so what about right? It takes us to there. And what about left? Takes us to here. Okay. Okay, okay, no, no, it's, it's okay. There was there was nothing up there. But what about here, right? Because you're having on right here. Takes us back. Okay. Okay, we've checked everything. I feel, I feel satisfied. There was a secret island there, though. I found it. It didn't have anything, but I found it. We're just zigzagging all over the place. It's impossible to tell which direction we're going. Based on these landmarks, I can, tef I can definitely tell we're making progress, but are we? Are we? Are we? There's a secret here, Matt. There's a secret here! I know there is! You're hiding something from me! I don't know what it is, but you're hiding something. You can't fool me this easily. Think I'll just follow the signs blindly? I think not! There's probably like an arcade machine down here, dude. You can't trick me. I'm sorry. Is this game making me insane? I feel like a crazy person right now. I feel like I feel like the raving. I'm just raving like a madman out here. But you know what? There was something in one of these directions. Okay, it was different, granted, and it didn't have any have anything, but it was something that I wouldn't have found otherwise. Oh my god! It took me all the way to the beginning. Oh come on, dude. Okay, the only way left to check is left. Nope. I don't even know how left takes me back up, but that's interesting. These tides work in mysterious ways. Alright, I'll go down. I'll go down at your behest, game. What in the world? I can see some big islands up ahead. We'll be landing soon, Nelly, so hang in a bit longer. <laughs> uh, so I can't actually land on any of these right now. But, what if I go to the right? Riggity riggity to the right. That's wrong. All right. Wait, does this take me back more? No, no, it took me back one. Okay, no, 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 no. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And then we go to the left. We got to check everything. Trust nothing. Trust absolutely nothing in this game. It will lead you astray. And then right there. Look at that. Right there. I can't get in there. Wait, what? What? How do I get on this island? There's a way out of this. There's a thing there. There's a thing there. I see it. I can see it, but it won't let me on the island. Oh, right here. Right here. Yes! <laughs> I found you! I found you! I knew it! I knew there was something here! I said it all along! I'm not just a madman! I knew there was something hidden on these islands. Oh, it's another cursed video game. I knew it. I, I'm a genius. I was like, there's gonna be something out here. I He's gonna hide it from me. And whenever there's uncharted lands, whenever there's things where you expect there to be nothing, there's always something. Never trust Matt Rosick. He's a tricky man. He'll, he'll fool you at every turn. I feel like... I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs>
Anyways, we, I, you've been listening to my insane ramblings for a while, so uh, I think we're gonna stop right here before this very suspicious, evil-looking arcade machine. So, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye <laughs>